Hi, welcome back everyone. A lot of my followers on Instagram and Facebook and of course my friends on YouTube have asked me, is it too late to grow vegetables in my backyard in August? And the answer is no. A lot of them are wondering what kind of plants, uh, what kind of vegetables they can still plant in their backyard and what is growing in my backyard. So lots going on still in August, although in Canada, Ontario, I admit our season for growing is very short. Um, we normally start planting in April to October, so it's August, pretty much we're in the middle of the, the gardening season, but still lots going on. We have some cherry tomatoes, you can see they're doing really, really well, got lots of those. We have uh, some green onion, we've been harvesting green onion all year round. We have some sweet potato vine leaves. Now this is a great ground cover if you're looking for a ground cover. Beautiful foliage and it's edible, super nutritious, easy to cook. If you click on my um, playlist on my organic garden, it will show you how to harvest and prepare these for stir frying. And also my fig tree is doing really well. We're gonna move over here. And you can see my bitter melon is doing really well. We've got lots of bitter melon growing. The leaves, again, the leaves you can make tea, you can dry it and have tea in the uh, winter time. And the stem and leaves are great if you boil it up and drink it. And you can see my uh, winter melon, baby winter melon's coming in. So if you look, lots of bitter melon and winter melon still growing. Now I'm not harvesting this bitter melon yet. I've harvested already quite a few, but I'm gonna let them get nice, plump and big. See that one right there? Beautiful. If you want to plant something in your backyard that doesn't take a lot of room, easy to maintain, quick to harvest and quick to stir fry, I highly recommend these uh, these daikon greens. So daikon greens grow in about three weeks, so scatter the seeds and then they grow in three weeks. You harvest them when they're young. Don't wait too long because they do get spiky, little fur gets spiky, so these are perfect for harvest. And our winter melon. Super duper, duper, duper big winter melon, doing really, really well. And so you notice that we've tied this string to it because it gets so heavy, there are chances that it will break off. So you need to support the melons and tie them up to support to a trellis. So that's our trellis right there. And do we have some other winter melons here if you look closely? I've got another big round one, two big round ones, and lots more growing on my vines, some baby ones in the back there. Another plant that we've uh, put in a couple of weeks ago is the bok choy. So a little baby bok choy. You can still put these in your garden in August and they will grow and you can harvest these to eat. Perfect for stir fry. Again, a little bit of garlic, minced garlic, stir fry this up and it's delicious and healthy. And I wanna show you another potted plant. So some people take, they don't have a lot of garden space. They can't uh, seem to find space to put, uh, do some uh, organic uh, gardening in their backyard, but really you can do a lot of potted plants. So one potted plant we have already showed you is the cherry tomatoes, but you can also plant peppers in pots and they do really well. So I wanna show you my pepper plant. And so how, see how many baby peppers are growing in there? It's kind of, they're all hiding in there, but I have about 10 little peppers growing on this one little potted pepper plant. So if you don't have a lot of space, or you live in a condominium and you have a balcony, peppers is great. Fresh peppers, uh, green peppers are great to plant. So this one here is gorgeous as well. So I have two of them. Look at that big pepper growing on that. So again, you don't need a lot of space to do gardening, even in pots, it's possible. You live in a condo, not an excuse. Um, I've got lots of questions and comments about how to kind of figure out what to plant in the space that they have. So. I suggest doing some peppers and cherry tomatoes to start with if you don't have a lot of space. So we're gonna walk over to my other garden that we started in April. So this was all grass and we dug up the grass, we turned it over and now this is our peppers. Again, I got some peppers growing here. We have some beans, Owen's beans. Look how gorgeous they are, huge beans in there. So we're, we're harvesting beans currently in August, middle of August. And if you look here, we have our gigantic ginormous tomatoes again Owen did a video about harvesting tomatoes um, so he likes spending time in the garden with me which is a great way to spend time with your children in the backyard just a big one there see that okay so on one of these tomato plants we have about 10 huge tomatoes growing so this one has fallen over and what we did was tied it up 
And we do get a lot of squirrels and other critters that come and nibble and bite on the vegetables. And yes, uh, I have that problem too. But you know, I think if you are generous and you plant enough, you will still have a great harvest. And uh, that's Owen's little scarecrow, little friend here. Hopefully to scare away our little squirrel friends, squirrely friends. I want to turn here to show you our squash that is doing really, really well. It's that big squash back there, huge. That's almost the size of Chloe, my little uh, newborn baby. And um, so a couple of more baby squash growing there. We've got another one growing here. Just gorgeous plant. Look at the foliage on this. And again, some vegetables you can plant in August and harvest. This is our second batch of Tong Ho. It's a Chinese vegetable, great in hot pot and stir fries. I don't particularly like the flavor of it, it's very strong, but I know the rest of my family members love eating this vegetable, so it's in our garden. We have some baby lettuce coming up again, so this is our second batch of lettuce. If you watched my other videos, you can see big leafy lettuce coming out. More radish, more daikon greens. I keep calling it radish, but these are daikon greens. And uh, here we have the if you look closely, this is what we call this uh, red shang choy and uh, it's great in stir fries as well. Beautiful, again, this is great uh, ground cover if you're looking for a nice colorful way to cover some uh, dry, uh, dry spots in your ground. So I get full sunlight, full exposure uh, on this plot and it's doing really, really well and we will harvest them young and stir fry. If you, again, watch one of my videos, I do teach you how to uh, clean and harvest and cook this. And that's our mature lettuce that I'm growing so I can collect the seeds. So if you look here, we always, always, always leave one vegetable to mature so that we can collect the seeds from the mature plant. We don't tend to buy the seeds from the supermarket or order them. Uh, we tend to like to harvest our own and dry our own seeds because we know that it'll turn out to be very sweet and grow really well in our garden. So always leave one to harvest the seeds and come back in September, October, and I'll have some videos on how to kind of save those seeds for the fall. So let's go to the front and check out the garden in the front. Yes, we've planted everywhere. I just wanted to kind of show you everything that we've planted in. So you see the seeds of the parsley. And again, par purslane is a great ground cover, beautiful color, and you can harvest throughout the summer. So this is purslane. And one of my uh, Facebook's followers said that you can actually dry them and make tea with it. So I'm going to try doing that this fall. I'm going to collect a whole bunch of this purslane, dry it and make tea. So if you look at our daikon greens in August, they have beautiful flowers that are like a little purple. So these are actually uh, daikon greens that have grown flower and we're going to collect the uh, seeds from there as well. And these are our uh, bitter melon. If you look closely, I did say we have lots of bitter melon that grow on this one plant. You can see them? Can you see them dangling? so many from this one plant. So I've got, let's see if I count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight, nine, <laughs> nine, some hiding, 10, 11, 12. So about 12 bitter melon on this one bitter melon plant. So there are a lot hiding in there. If you look very closely, so many bitter melons. So the variety of this bitter melon, see there, there's like four more hiding in there. I think about 20, 20 of these uh, bitter melon growing in this one bitter melon plant. And uh, notice this is a little bit different. If you look at their texture, it's a little bit different from the ones we have in the back. These grow longer and these are actually a little bit more bitter than the big plump round ones we have in the backyard. I'm gonna keep on moving. So another vegetable you can still plant and harvest is the Chinese uh, spinach, which is the san choy. You can harvest this, like I said, all season long. Take the tips to stir fry and then use the bottom leafy greens to make soup. We also have chives that you can harvest all year. And they have beautiful flowers too. If you look at the chives, they do have beautiful flowers too. So we're gonna leave these to mature and collect um, the seeds for next season. And in the back there, we have goji berry leaves that are growing and we'll be harvesting those sometime in October. Um, they, they, they take a while to kind of get big and strong and we're gonna make soup with the goji berry leaves. I'm gonna walk over here. Uh, you've seen these in my videos, uh, the perilla leaves. We like to use these to make tea to drink. And again, I always have a lot of uh, purslane that grows. We've harvested quite a few of these. And parsley, you look closely, Got little parsley growing again too. So lots of things that you can still plant in August if you've decided to start something up.
My mother and I love sharing our vegetables with family and friends, and we hope to inspire others to do some gardening in their backyard. It's great for the earth, great for your health, and it's so rewarding. Remember to subscribe and come back and check out our garden in September and October.